Hey everybody, Rare Diamond Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another dramatizing video. Millionaire's wife ends up broke. Let's get into this, guys. There are three types of men. The first type, losers. These are men who makes under 5,000 a month. Next, we have men between 5 to 50,000 a month. These are male girlfriends. And the last type of man, over 50,000 a month. That's exactly the type of man we'll be studying in our course. I'm sorry, Mrs. Richards. What if my boyfriend only makes three grand a month, but, but he's starting his own business? Uh, would that be okay? I mean... Look at her, she thinks that's funny. They're gonna make fun of that. He could still make it, right? No, Katie. The key word in the sentences is good. Remember, if a man is not successful right now, he will never be successful. So she's teaching them to, I don't know if those are her kids or whatever, but she's teaching them that they gotta make sure that they find a man with money. So basically be a gold digger. That's how I see it. Basically be a gold digger. I feel like if you can't be with the guy while he's down, then you definitely can't be with the guy while he's up. Because say he's up, then he goes down. What you gonna do? You just gonna pack up and leave and try to look for somebody else. Break up with him immediately. What kind of love can you have for him without money? Look. Remember Katie, there is only oh man God. who's ever been oh. worthy of a woman's love. And that's Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> um, Miss Richards, what are they I have a about? question. How do you call this type of woman whose husbands have an average income of a cup of coffee? Oh. Hey! <laughs> Get out! Uh, is that her family? It says something about the Richards family went bankrupt. I think that's her and her family. Mm. Yeah, sure. Or her what husband. Did you, did you hear that? Why are you still sitting here? I said, get out! <laughs> no, they, no. They're all about to laugh at her. Look at them. They, they looking like, girl, you broke now. <laughs> we ain't got to listen to you. Okay, okay. Loser. No, they're about to call her a loser. Mrs. Richards, be honest. You, you're not going to break up with your husband after everything that happened, are you? Oh, yes, I am. In fact, by the next class, I find a new... Yeah. Oh, my husband's going bankrupt. I'm about to leave him. <laughs> you want it oh. even richer. Did you marry him just for the money? Teenagers play it, love, Katie. I did. look at the world with adult eyes. And if you still think that relationships are built on love, then you shouldn't be in my class. It's sad that some of us are willing to cut our threads just for the money. Yeah. Such a shame. You go burn a lot of bridges and when you're down, nobody's gonna be there to help you. She knows she wrong. Are you serious? Yeah, honey, we're, we're broke. We're cleaned out. I mean, all the shares in the company, they, they, they collapsed. I had to sell everything to, to cut our losses. I can't believe it. What are we going to do now? Honey, don't worry. We still have the money that you were going to spend on the convertible, remember? We can survive off that for a bit. Nah, she spent it. She spent it. Look at her. She spent it, bro. Everything's going to be fine. I promise. Excuse me? Are you kidding me now? That's my money, Matt. I was saving it for myself. Oh, yeah. She, uh, yeah, she don't want to share that. But he shared everything he made with you, but she don't want to share her little money that she got. What makes you think I would ever share it with you? Well, because we're married. That's it, Matt. Get your stuff. You're out of here. Why? Because I'm not going to live in the same house with a man who is even lower than a loser. But this is my house. <laughs> no, 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 honey. If you remember, you sign it over to me. There is nothing left here that's yours. Dang, she manipulated him, man. He signed the house over to her. 
Come on now. See, that's what's, that's the issue with these rich people that can't find love. They sit over here, they desperate for love, so they'll jump at any beautiful woman or man that they see. Knowing damn well that person don't love them. They move too fast because they want your money. Ah, don't do this to me. My heart just... Hey, shut up. I said get out of my house. You have five minutes. I'll call you a cab. What? Wow. He don't know what to do. He, he lost. He's stuck. Okay. This one is good. She really said he's out of I'm shape. Dead. He won't take care of himself, then he won't take care of his wallet. Mm. Uh, Not bad. He looked too cheap for her. But the shoes are cheap. Clearly some kind of meathead. No money for sure. Hmm. Handsome, well-built, nice suit. <laughs> Bingo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, are, are you I'm okay? Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm fine, I'm fine. I was just uh, staring at my long eyelashes and my legs get tangled up. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, uh, actually, I think I hurt my knee. Oh, and how bad is it? Bad. You need to have a seat. Just sit with me for a little while until the pain goes away. It's a little awkward. No, it's not. I mean, I, I insist. Just sit with me for a few minutes. Oh, just for a couple of minutes. Yeah, please. She knows she wants that so they could end up talking forever. <laughs> so, Anna, you're such an interesting person. I can't believe you came here alone. What are you doing here? I met my husband in this restaurant. So I thought oh. I'd come here and feel a bit nostalgic. So yeah, you have just, a husband. She just know where all the rich people hang out. <laughs> and where's the ring? I'm going through a divorce. So I guess I could say I don't really have one. Whoever he is. He's obviously such a fool to let such a beautiful woman out. Women like you are hard to find. That's him. He oh. blew it, and I don't feel sorry for him. Well, at least he can go to his afterlife in peace, knowing that he was married to a beautiful woman like you for a while. <laughs> afterlife? I'm leaving for London tomorrow morning. Would you care to join me? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm opening a new... What is she thinking about? Hold on, like, why is she looking like that? But she got me lost. Like, did he say something that triggers something or something? ...branch of my business in England. And I'm taking the first fly off to London tomorrow morning. And you could come with me, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, no. Okay now, I know your loss of words. Listen to me close. This is gonna be very, very exciting. But this is not gonna be very serious. We're just gonna hang out, you know, a little bit until we get tired of each other. I can set you up for the rest of your life. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm sorry, I have to take it. It might be something important. Hello? Mrs. Richards. Hi, this is Westside Hospital. We have your husband. He's having a heart attack. She caused it. It's all her fault because he got so much going on. He, he not rich no more. So, and then she just kicked him out of his house, you know, technically her house because he put it in her name. Just hang up the phone and come with me. 
going down. Your husband urgently needs expensive surgery and his insurance won't cover it. You gonna be there for him or leave her? Just shut up. One more time. Thank you, honey. You know, to be honest with you, I wasn't even sure that you're gonna come and get me. Don't be so dramatic. I would have done the same thing if you were me. Where, where did you get the money for the hospital? And then where did all your stuff go? My stuff? There are just things. It's only money I can easily do without them. But there are some things I can't live without. What are you, you, know, what are you trying to say? She loves them. He love him. I want to say that I love you, Matt. I want to say that I love you as much as I loved you 20 years ago. And if I have a chance to make things right, if I have a chance to make things go back the way they were before, I would be happy to keep on being Anna Richards. Yeah. She just forgot where she came from for a minute. She had to be reminded of where she, where, where, where she was at with him. And I'd be happy to keep on being your husband. <sighs> I don't know, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting nervous. Relax, Matt, it's just a dinner with a new boss. I'm sure it'll be fine and he'll definitely be hard. Well, I hope so, because he's coming up behind you. Matt, Mr. Hannah, Wayne. good to see you. It. Mr. Wayne. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice have you met you. my fiance, Getty yet? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Wait a minute, is that the girl that was in her class? I think. Hi. Hello, Katie. It's nice to see you. I wanted to thank you for that talk the other day. I realized a lot after that conversation. Yeah, and she made it is... open her eyes. This is the loser with the low income. He's the one you told me to break up with. But, as you can see... But well, look at him now. He's very successful. Allah was stronger than your advice. Bow well down to him, Katie. No matter what happens. It's the only thing that matters. I will. I hope we need you. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope I won't let you down. Yeah, I know. So what burns... Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.